Hi, Susan Kellner of the Ontario Pesticide Education Program and I'm going to go over Chapter 8 in the Grower Pesticide Safety Course Manual, Chapter 8, Health Risks of Pesticide Use. There are 12 slides in this presentation and it will take about 10 minutes for us to review. So we'll just get started. What will I learn? At the end of this lesson you should be ready to define risk, toxicity and exposure. Identify and describe roots of exposure, compare acute and chronic toxicity, describe the health risks of pesticide use, and list ways to prevent a pesticide exposure. Now with this equation, risk equals toxicity times exposure. We explain that toxicity is a measure of how harmful or poisonous the pesticide is, and exposure in this equation is a measure of the contact you have with the pesticide. You can control your health risks by minimizing this equation. Now, protect yourself from exposure will lower your risk. You are dealt with a certain toxicity when you're given the product, but you can protect your risk, lower the risk by lowering your exposure. So follow the label directions and wear protective clothing and a personal protective equipment as stated on the label and that's your best protection to lower your risk. Now acute and chronic toxicity, two types of toxicity. How harmful is the pesticide? Well, acute toxicity is a toxic response that results from a single exposure over a short period of time. Chronic toxicity is the toxic response that results from repeated exposures over a longer period of time. So the pesticide is evaluated on both those types of toxicities. Acute toxicity is referred to as a measurement of lethal dose 50%. The dose of a pesticide that kills 50% of the test animals. Oral LD50, a lethal dose by mouth to kill 50% of the animals and it's usually milligrams per kilogram. So milligrams of the dose per kilogram body weight of the animal. Dermal LD50, lethal dose applied to skin to kill 50% of animals. And inhalation LC50, lethal concentration in air to kill 50% of animals parts per million. So the acute toxicity value, the lower the LD50 value, the more toxic the pesticide. Here's some examples. Matador is the example label we have in the book. It has an acute oral LD50 from 64 to 110 milligrams per kilogram. So it will have this symbol on it, a danger poison symbol. And you can go down and see and look in your chart. Um, Revis suspension is a fungicide and you can see it is a very high number for the acute oral LD50 as well as the acute dermal LD50 is high and so there's no symbol required on the front of that label. If the LD50 is less than 10 milligrams per kilogram the pesticide is extremely toxic so again the lower the number the more toxic the pesticide is. Chronic toxicity, to protect you from chronic poisoning, the label will have precautionary statements you must follow. For example, a pesticide product may limit the number of hours you can actually use the product in one day. Scientists conduct studies to find out if the product could cause cancer, tumor growth, or birth defects. Sensitization and allergies. You may have an allergy to an active ingredient or another chemical used in the formulation. Allergens will be stated on the front of the label. So uh, peanuts, sulfites, milk, eggs, selfish, anything that might be in that formulation, that product um, would come with a warning. And some people are more sensitive to certain pesticides than others. A person may not react the first time, but may react the next time she or he uses the product. So look for warnings on the front of the label, like danger, skin irritant, potential skin sensitizer. The U.S. Agricultural Health Study is a big study that's happening in, over a long period of time in, in the States. The United States uh, 
agricultural health study found that certain pesticides are linked to higher risk of developing non-Hodgkin lymphoma, Parkinson's, diabetes, and thyroid disease. So go to their website. There's a website. Just search for agricultural health study and you will see some of the results of their study. Protect others from exposure to pesticides. So just don't think about yourself. You're around other people. You must keep pesticides out of reach of children. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should not contact pesticides. Keep people, pets, and livestock from exposure. Follow the restricted entry intervals. Follow the pre-harvest intervals. Prevent take-home exposure. Family members and pets could be exposed when a person who used a pesticide then contaminates the family home or vehicles. So don't touch door handles, steering wheels, or cell phones with pesticide contaminated gloves. Remove your protective clothing and personal protective equipment before you get into your car, truck, tractor, or cab. And that's it, an overview of chapter eight.